Today I'm doing an EDL flash on a Redmi 5 Plus. First of all, apologies for the image quality. Still having a bit of issues with my cameras. But anyway, first of all, with the EDL flash, we're going to want to open up the phone. There's a couple of probe points we will need to push on. So remove your SIM tray. And from there, we're going to try and pry open or pry off the back cover. Once we've done this and got the phone into EDL mode, we can basically leave it at that point and then focus on the computer side of things that will need to be done. I'll leave links in the description as well on where to download the required the ROM, the Xiaomi flash tool and the correct version to use for at this point in time and also the drivers that you'll need to install and lastly you'll need to disable signature enforcement on Windows 10 which will also be shown. I did find getting into the 5 Plus to take a bit more effort than I thought it would have normally required. Also it's also recommended to have your phone switched off. In this instance I wasn't too fast because I'd just given up on trying to do a normal fast boot flash. Now the reason why I'm doing the EDL flash on this particular model is because I'm highly suspicious that, that suspicious that there's a vendor ROM installed. When I was using Fastboot to try and find out if the bootloader was unlocked, it would come back as locked. But on the phone itself, it said the bootloader was unlocked. So there was a big bit of conflict going on there. So from there, I've tried to factory reset it, and it made no difference. So I'm going down the path of doing a, an EDL flash, because other methods have failed for me. So an EDL flash is typically used for a device that has been bricked, that will no longer boot, or you can't get it to respond to get it to start into any mode at all. So usually it's a last ditched effort to actually format it. Which I found on most Xiaomi devices has proven to be relatively successful in restoring a factory ROM back onto the phone. As you can see here, I'm starting to make a bit of progress getting into it. So I have used a flat pry tool to get in there. And now I'm just using my fingers to hopefully get in the last, last little bit of it to remove that back cover. So once you have the back cover off, I would recommend to disconnect the battery to begin with followed by the fingerprint scanner as this I have read this can increase the chance of the flash going successfully so disconnect one battery also have your USB already plugged into the phone that does help getting it into EDL mode so have the USB plugged into the phone but not into the computer disconnect your battery disconnect your fingerprint sensor and push on the two probe points to the left of the flex cable. So once you've got that pin or some tweezers or a screwdriver holding down on those two EDL pin points, then connect it up to the computer. The computer should acknowledge it and then from there we'll move on to the next step. Well, the original article I came across regarding do the, doing the EDL flash very informative, very easy to read. So if the follows, video is a bit hard to follow, check out this. So you want to disable driver signature enforcement in Windows 10, download minimal ADB fastboot tools, download the corresponding recovery ROM, and download MeFlash 2017-720. I have tried earlier revisions or and later revisions of this flash tool, but I've had no luck at all of getting it to run properly. and extract the me flash tool and then do the same also with the ADB or minimalist ADB here's a link to it as well I'll put in the description so download and install those two and also download the ROM which you'll need to extract 
wanting to disable signature enforcement. You should be able to do this by telling the computer to restart, but when you click on the restart button on the start bar, hold down the shift key. And while doing that, it should load up to this menu here. And then we're wanting to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then See More Recovery Options. Startup Settings, and then hit Restart. From there, your computer should look like it's shutting down again, but it should load up a different menu from there. So we have the machine starting up, and if we press 7 on the keyboard, that will disable the driver signature enforcement. And that should aid or will enable you to hopefully do your EDL flash correctly without any drums. So we'll let the computer restart back up once more. And this is with the enforcement disabled. Then once we're loaded back up, we'd want to go to where you've downloaded the recovery ROM. Typically with that, you'll need to extract it probably two or three times before you'll get to the actual files we need to use. So if you've extracted it once and you've only got a single file there, you're going to have to extract it further to reveal an image folder and then a whole bunch of .bat files. So we'll soon see this in a second. So as you see, I've got my individual file. This is not what I want. So I'm, since it doesn't have .zip at the end, I can't extract it. So I'm just going to rename it Vince, which is the model of the phone, .zip. And then I'm going to tell it to extract once more. And as you see, these are the files we want to use. So I've told it to extract once more. Now, with these particular files here, I would recommend having them loaded into C drive under a file with no spaces or a file name without any a folder name without any spaces or characters. So as you see, I've got images, I've got a whole bunch of files there. I'm going to create a new folder in C drive, and I'm just going to call it 5P or 5 plus. I will rename that. So I've now renamed it to 5P. I go in there and I see an images folder and the other files that it does require. I'm just going to quickly clean up the other files that aren't necessary. And go back in and go back into 5P and you should to be able to do the EDL flash, you should see that. Or at least those files there. I'm going to load up me flash and go to select. Go to this PC, C drive and then that 5p folder. Down the bottom right hand side it should have flash and lock, that's what I'm going with. That will lock, relock the bootloader and then after that tell the machine to flash and hopefully from there you'll get a whole bunch of different file names flicking up under status. Sorry but the screen recorder popped up, I um, thought I had that hidden. But anyway it will probably take anywhere from about a minute and a half to maybe up to five minutes depending on your computer. So this is going to do a complete flash of the original or of the Chinese developer ROM, or that's what I've put online. And it's going to relock the bootloader. And hopefully from there it will be a hundred percent factory ROM. And from there, what I'm going to do later on will be to request the bootloader to be unlocked to install a custom ROM. But anyway, hopefully if you're seeing these various status messages coming up in your Mi Flash, hopefully for you, you're going to be able to successfully reinstall your Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus and have a usable phone at the end of it. Now once it does finish, if the phone itself won't display, it will fin if, if, if it's successfully completed the flash, you will have to or physically disconnect the phone from the computer. Potentially, if the back is still off, disconnect the battery and reconnect it, and then press and hold the power button. 
hopefully from there you'll get a, a bit of a wait with Xiaomi loading up. And that might take another five minutes before the phone will actually get to the initial setup screen. But hopefully from there you've recovered your phone. So it's a bit of a thrown together how to I've done here. If you have any dramas, hopefully I can reply to you on the channel. If not, do refer to the original recovery or Redmi 5 Plus recovery tutorial that I've showed at the start. I will put a link in that in the description. And hopefully this can help recover your 5 Plus. Anyway, I'll let the video play out from here and I'll catch you in the next one.